What's going on, Fluff Game? Back with another legendary vlog. You look, man. So many people ask me, yo, how you make your vlogs? How you do all this stuff? So, hey, I'm about to break it down for you right now. What I use, the equipment I use, the programs that I use, everything. Okay, so hey, if you're ready to see that, and I'm ready to give it to you. Let's go. So what's going on, Fluff Gang? I'm about to show you everything that I feel like you probably should need just to start these vlogs. You know what? I feel like something's missing. I think we need some coffee. Let's go get that. Let's cut to the B-roll. About to get this coffee, baby. I need it for my vlogs. probably need first is this and get both screw this base into the bottom actually gives you a stand and another form of support so when you cut this on it levels it so it makes it look like your videos are floating right so I bought this for probably like I'd say probably about maybe like $80 maybe something like that right so I got this right this was the second big thing I bought <laughs> Thank you. 
actually a selfie stick. First video I ever did, the selfie stick broke on me, snap, phone, phone hit the ground, everything like that horrible, right? Went and bought this. This actually is a little bit better. And it holds your phone really good. And um, in case I want to vlog and stuff like that, you can hold it up like this. And you know, it gives you better form of content. Now, most people are probably just gonna eat this and you'd be good to go. So, if you wanna use this, you're good, right? You don't need this. You get this if you want to get this. You don't need that. You need this. This is what you need. It comes with two of these arms to screw on the side of here. Light, you can mount a light, mount a microphone, whatever you want, right? Next thing you need, I would say, this Rode mic, right? Now, this particular brand, I don't know about this brand in particular, but this brand in particular, you need an extra cord. This is the first cord that came with it was this. This only works for DSLR cameras. This one works for your phone. You can look it up. They have the price right there, right? So you're good with this. Nothing if you want to step it up to the next level, keep you some lenses that attach, and then you'd be really good with that, right? Do you need this? No. So like I said, only thing you really need is this. The next investment would be this. The next investment would be this. So you can do whatever you need to do, right? So generally how my phone would look would be like this. Put this in here. And then I would have my light right here. And then this will go on the light. And then this will be how my phone will look. So I have my microphone and this, right? So this is how it be if I'm vlogging, right? So I actually just got this. So I really haven't been putting it in any good use yet, but I would be, right? So matter of fact, let me hook that up right now so you guys can hear it so, so we can see there's a big difference at all because we'll be experimenting together. All right, now we got the other microphone hooked up. Let's see if there's any difference. But, um, so like I said, this is extra. It's what you need, right? The two apps that I use the most, I would honestly say, Epidemic Sounds. Epidemic Sounds, you pay for it, it's $15 a month. Actually, I have an account with them and I have an affiliate link. So you get like a free 30 days. And then after that, I'll get like, like if you sign up, I'll get like a free month. So each person that signs up, I'll get like a free month, whatever like that. So which is which is cool, you know, but I'll put that in the link down below. Epidemic Sounds is probably the best thing you can have because they have great music. And when I say great music, I say great music because at the end of the day, your videos are boring without good music. And that's honestly what I was lacking at first. So now that I got the music, and honestly, if you want to edit a video, I would say edit it with the music going, especially if you're doing like B-roll. Um, you edit with the music going, and it just makes it flow even better. You can cut with the beat and stuff like that, which makes it even better. Um, oh yeah, I use TubeBuddy. Um, since I do like family vlogs and stuff like that, TubeBuddy works with my stuff a little bit. It doesn't work as good, but it works with my stuff a little bit. So since I do family vlogs, it kind of like it's up and down. Because some things it helps me with with good, good things, some things it doesn't. But with the TubeBuddy, it allows me to find out what's popular in searches and stuff like that. So if I wanted to research what I want to blog first or do instructional videos on, then yeah, I would do I would do my research on the TubeBuddy. Then I would go and then I would actually go do it and I can have everything set up. Because you can actually set everything up with TubeBuddy first. Like you can store it in the files. And then whenever you make the video, you just go straight on YouTube and copy and paste and pff, you're in there. They got an app so you can manage it while you're at work or wherever you're doing. You can manage everything with TubeBuddy, which is good because YouTube views and stuff like that is backtracked by 24 hours. So you use TubeBuddy, it tells you every time. And plus, if you have Alexa, um, you can talk to Alexa and be like, hey, Alexa, um, what is my subscriber count? She'll tell you. Or you'll be like, Alexa, what is my... What is my uh, top rating video doing and she'll tell you so that I mean that's even better especially if you're a tech person like me like I have a whole smart I live in an apartment so I have a smart apartment right so everything like that is good for me because I am one of those kind of people that enjoy stuff like that right 
So besides for that, so we got two buddy epidemic sounds. Those are two things. Um, like I said, I shoot everything on my phone. The editing on my phone, everything on my phone, right? So my phone settings, I shoot most of my stuff in um, 4K, 60 frames per second. It's supposed to not shoot everything in 4K. Oh, I'm sorry, 60 frames per second, but I do. I'm just saying that's what I do. You know, it just looks better when I when I'm filming it. And then, like I said, I look at it on my 4K TV. It looks real nice and clear. Because honestly, people think that I use a DSLR. Yeah, a DSLR would be good, but for certain things, right? So let's say I can go in the store and hold my phone, and I can vlog. I won't have no problems. I can go in the store, hold this, and vlog. I won't have no problems. I go in the store holding this and vlog. People gonna say. You can't do that here. No, the purses. It's like a full purse. I was using it for my baby. Is that recording? Yeah. Yeah, and for I could we not employees, please. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Um like So imagine if you have a big camera this big vlogging in the store. <laughs> You're only gonna see it worse. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I mean, you got to pick and choose your battles. What are you trying to do? You know what I'm saying? So, is there a reason why I don't have a DSLR yet? Yeah, because I just started YouTube. Am I going to get one? Of course I'm going to get one. I'm going to probably give me a full frame mirrorless one. I was looking at the, um, the Canon, I think it's R, EOS R, or something like that. It's, um, it's like $1,500, $1,700. I'm going to get that one, so. I'm just gonna wait to get that and then that's what the camera I'm gonna choose. But um, yeah, I'm using my phone right now. I actually edit my videos on the app. Like when I post this, you're gonna see in the top right hand corner, it's called Kinmaster. Kinmaster is what I use to edit all my videos on. It's actually pretty good. Like I, I can't sleep on it, you know what I'm saying? It works good on my phone. You know, it should work good on your phone too, but I edit all my videos on it and honestly I would literally say that they're probably the best one out there because they also allow you to when you render it to render it whatever frame you want to render it to so with that being said I feel like they're probably the best one to use now like I said none of this stuff that I'm talking about is paid paid advertisement like I'm just doing it all just cuz I know people ask me all the time well how you doing this and stuff like this so hey you know I want to put this information out there for you guys I want everybody to understand this yeah I'm still a small channel but I'm kind of one of those people that research a whole bunch of stuff before I start doing anything so when it does pop it will go so hey you know this is fluff fam please like comment subscribe please I hope everybody enjoys these videos if you do leave a comment down below I could drop more of them I just didn't know if I had the crowd interested enough to want to learn about stuff like this so you know if you guys want to walk along with the journey with me i'll show you everything analytics and everything so just know if you do the research on these people the people that got like millions of subscribers most of them people have over a thousand over a thousand review uh videos so I just want you to understand that this is going to be a slow growth so if you catch me right now as of right now i think i got like 140 six subs right now so like i said this is slow growth i've only been doing it for a month now so hey you know hopefully you guys that's seeing this video right now is willing to take this ride with us and i appreciate it because i'm really trying to you know help my family and everything like that so hey i appreciate it hey if you guys see any the bows in the videos we make them at the house so if you guys ever want a bow we do it at the house you know so just want you guys to know that everything's in house you know what I'm saying? So we're trying to grow together and stuff like that. Yeah, of course I have my own job. So I, I mainly vlog on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And I drop videos mainly on Sundays and Wednesdays. So that's kind of like my schedule. And I've been sticking to it. So hey, I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys stick around. Alright, love everybody. Peace.